What is going on everybody? This is Dylan with Dylan Talks Tone and this is your weekly gear news update. Do me a favor, hit the subscribe button and the like button and the little bell next to it to make sure that you don't miss any new videos coming out. Uh, if you like guitar stuff, you might as well subscribe. 61% of you who watch these videos are not subscribed, so I would appreciate it if you did, that'd be awesome. We've got some really cool stuff happening. Uh, we're going live on Instagram later today. I wanted to chat about that in a minute. Uh, we also have our live stream on Thursday on YouTube. We have the news on Wednesday, a bunch of stuff going. I'll get to that in a minute, but let's get to this news first. First of all, we want to talk about the Walrus audio delay. And I mean delay this time, not reverb. Last week in the news, I accidentally just glossed over and said delay instead of, anyway. Last week was reverb, this week is a delay. It's actually called the D1. It's the version two of D1, so V2 of D1. Anyway, uh, cool stuff. It's their new updated version of this D1 delay. It's got a USB, so it will update uh, and have some parameter adjustments and stuff via USB, which is really cool. Probably tonally, the two biggest features that jumped out at me, now there's a bunch of stuff here, but the two things that kind of jumped out at me are this stereo control that allows for the delay to be panned, which is wicked cool, and two, uh, a doubling, like a stereo effect doubling. I'll leave a link to as much of this stuff as I can actually find that's actually out in the description of this video uh, down there, so you can check it out. Spaceman Effects has had their deluxe phaser for a long time, but it's kind of big. So they came out with this new thing called the Explorer, which is basically their phaser, but it's in a smaller box, like a regular pedal sized box. Uh, it comes in a couple different colors too, black, red, and like chrome or like a brushed sort of finish, which is interesting that a pedal would come out in its first edition in three different colors, which I find is interesting. Um, but this is a cool pedal, and now it fits on your board. Harley Benton has come out with a new spaceship, because uh, you know, it's Harley Benton and it's the news, so we talk, we just tell you about Harley Benton. Basically, it's an expandable pedal board, telescopes in and out, uh, a copy basically, <coughs> rip off, of something that somebody else already did, which I guess, you know, that's what they do. ESP has released or unveiled 43 different guitars. Now, <laughs> there's way too much to talk about here and then we'll fit in this video, but I'm just gonna give you, and I'm gonna read this because there's a lot of them. I'm gonna give you a rundown of the ranges that have been updated with new, they, they wanna call them colorways, I mean, is color not good enough a word uh, anymore? I don't know why everybody says colorway anymore, but anyway, new colors, uh, probably new finishes, hardware, stuff like that. The TE, the SN, the EC, the EX, the H, the M, the Phoenix, and the Viper all have updated stuff. Uh, again, 43 guitars, way too much to list out in this video, but I'll leave a link if I can find it to some of this stuff and uh, go check it out because ESP makes really cool stuff and you know, bold new graphics. And it's not just colors. There's actually some other uh, more principal changes to some of these guitars, so go check it out. D'Angelico, you know, from New York. They make reasonably priced guitars. They're pretty cool. Uh, I like this, this brand a lot. I've been checking them out as I go into various music stores and kind of just picking up and playing them a little bit. Haven't ever owned one, haven't done a video on one yet, but pretty cool stuff. The one that's got my attention is the Bedford Premier. Look at this thing. It's an offset. It's got two P90s in it. Uh, it's got this like old school, kind of reminds you harmony-ish sort of looking vibe to it with the pit garden stuff. I really, really dig this guitar and how it looks. And uh, these guitars are pretty reasonably priced and easy to play with like a C-shaped neck and 22 frets and you know, normal kind of stuff. Um, somewhere in the 850 area, something like right in there. Yeah, 849. So, uh, reasonable price, cool looking, and very moddable if you, you know, see those be nice, so pretty sick. Orange amplifiers, uh, you know, pretty traditional amp company, really, when it comes down to it. Makes tube amps, makes some solid state stuff, makes some combo kind of stuff. But overall, pretty traditional. What I think is really cool is they just came out with this. What is this thing called? The Guitar Butler Compact Preamp. So it goes on your pedal board. It's got two channels. It's got a clean channel and a JFET activated dirty channel. 
The idea behind this thing is you put this on your pedal board, you don't need an amp. There is a high Z output, so like you can go out of your board that way, or you can do a XLR out to like a powered speaker or a PA or something and not have to have anything at all except for your pedal board, what's on your pedal board. It's got an effects loop that's buffered. It's sick, this is a pretty cool little idea and I like this because I think guitar players, our needs are changing. Like we're needing different stuff. And I think playing quieter and lower noise venues and more flexibility and honestly not having to lug a thing around, this is pretty cool. And especially if it works well in the studio, which I'm sure it does, they don't do bad stuff, Orange. So, you know, pretty cool. I'll try to find this and leave a link to it because to me, this is a pretty fascinating little dude. We've been talking about for a couple of weeks or have mentioned it a couple of times, Gibson owning the Maestro brand and possibly, but now for sure, coming out with not just one pedal, but a series of pedals, including a version of the Fuzz, which is kind of the one that made Maestro so amazing. Uh, they came out with though that Fuzz, the Ranger Overdrive, the Invader Distortion, the Discover Delay, and the Comet Chorus. Now they're all really super cool. Uh, they have this vintagey vibe to them. They've got the little light up bugles in the display, you know, in the top of the thing. Super cool. Vintage maestro looking stuff. I don't know anything about them, pricing and availability and stuff, but they're coming and they look cool. PRS is another one who's just doing a ton of updates to a bunch of guitars. Um, I'll leave a link to as many of them as I can find, but the SE, the S2, and even the Orianthi has a new private stock, which is beautiful. Um, maybe not for everybody, but I think it is gorgeous. Uh, so there's a bunch of stuff coming out. The acoustics are gonna have some new electronics in them. There's a bunch of little updates and stuff. I mean, this is kind of the time period in the year where all the new models come out for lots of brands. So I think a couple of these brands like ESP this week and P PRS are doing like these kind of mass, uh, hey, we're updating a bunch of stuff. As we get more specific stuff on each model, maybe one a week comes out or whatever, I'll chuck it in the news so you can know more specifically, or you can go to PRS's website right now or Sweetwater and they will have a lot of that stuff listed already and you'll be able to see it at least available uh, for pre-order. Speaking of pre-order, PRS has come out with a new color. It's called Larkspur. I call it blue. And it is for the Mark Letary Fiore. Now, <laughs> for those of you that have followed the channel for a while, you know that I've never been a fan of PRS's until I got to play this guitar and it completely changed me, and I absolutely love it. I wanted one so bad, uh, but I couldn't really justify it at the time. You know, we were living in a motorhome full time, couldn't really justify it. So then when I got home, uh, right after Christmas, right before New Year's is when I bought my first PRS, and then of course now we have the second one. Well, I put one of these on pre-order, because this blue is, it's enough to push me over the edge. So when I pre-ordered it from Sweetwater, I'll leave a link to it. When I put it pre-ordered it from Sweetwater, it said coming in a few months. So I don't know what that means. I don't know how long it's gonna be, but I clicked the button to make it happen, at least to get it going. So yes, some of you have been asking me, why didn't you buy that guitar? Well, now I have. This afternoon, which is uh, Wednesday, Oh, January 19th. It's my wedding anniversary, actually. Um, nine years today. So, uh, January 19th at a probably late mid-afternoon, we're gonna go live on Instagram uh, because there's been a bunch of random questions that have come in from all kinds of places, Facebook and Instagram and YouTube comments and stuff like that. And it's one of these things where it's like not enough to do a particular video about, but we wanna cover them because a lot of people are very curious. And I thought I'd do it on Instagram because I don't do that very often. So it's 
instagram.com slash Dylan Talks Tone. It's just right here. And we're gonna talk about the PRS SE uh, Silver Sky and the American Silver Sky. There's some little specific questions that people have been asking and wanting to know quite, you know, answers to. And we're not gonna get all markety about it or anything, but people, there are specific little technical questions that people wanna know the answers to. So we're gonna sort that out for you so that you have those answers since I've got both guitars in the house. And uh, yeah, pretty sweet. Also, make sure you check out our live stream Thursday night at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, if you are a Patreon member or a YouTube member with the little join button down there, you can ask questions ahead of time and then we display them on the screen and give you a little shout out, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Or you can just show up and uh, try to squeeze one in with a super chat or something. That also works as well. So thanks for hanging out for this here news. And uh, we will see you this afternoon on Instagram. And if we don't see you there, we'll see you tomorrow night on our live stream.